For 117 years, Melbourne Girls Grammar School has been specialising in education for girls. We've always seen ourselves as leading from the front and there have been many uh, phases in the development of the school where we've adopted um, curriculum or technologies that have put us out amongst uh, the benchmarks of international quality education for girls. And we saw technology as being absolutely essential to providing the level of flexibility and access that we wanted for our teachers, for our girls and by extension our community. When we reviewed our technology infrastructure in 2008, we decided to adopt wireless uh, across the entire campus. So from prep to 12, all of our students and all of our teachers would have access to the network. The wireless is available through the entire campus. We've worked very hard to make sure that there are no black spots. So our teachers and students can carry their technology with them uh, out onto the field, um, between venues, and we can have impromptu learning um, activities anywhere that is needed. The access to the Maru wireless network has enabled access anywhere. So anywhere over our campus, whether it's a PE teacher out on the Oval or a drama teacher in a drama studio, will have access, guaranteed access to a wireless network. It's ensured that lessons can be taught with confidence and planned with confidence that the network will not um, disappoint the teachers in the delivery or the students in the access to the variety of the activities that have been planned. The Maru Wireless Network has been a real enabler in our classrooms. It's given the teachers and students confidence, particularly the teachers in planning their lessons. Uh, we use a learning management system here and they know that when they walk into the classroom that that will work and they will be able to access all their curriculum. The, the biggest challenges we had uh, managing our wireless network is that uh, providing coverage for all the different classrooms. We had different classrooms and different learning areas of various sizes. Some of them are very small with about 15 to 20 students, some of them are very big, large, about uh, 60 plus students. So we had to have a solution where we can cover all those areas without having multiple solutions running in the school. So previously we had network dropouts, we had channel dropouts, but with Maru we don't have that problem because Maru uses a single channel. So the students can walk all over the school without having dropouts. Every student has access to a Toshiba notebook and staff all have access to a Toshiba tablet. We're currently seeing an influx of other wireless connected devices such as iPads, Kindles, Android tablets. Well our Director of eLearning tells me that we're moving quickly to a BYOC which is her shorthand for a bring your own uh, computer or computing device. And our job at the moment is to think big picture about that and to develop the sorts of guidelines and protocols which would allow our community to feel safe about that. Well, it's important for us that it's evident that the student has a choice in the device they bring to school and not only in the device but also in the tools they use. So we already have introduced a learning management system that hangs off the, the wireless network and it's given us confidence that that is there and it is the way of the future and that girls will be able to bring in any device to connect to that network in the future. We're seeing lots of mobile dev devices in use, either those that we've provided or uh, early adoption by our staff. So many of our staff um, involved in information literacy, for example, are using a variety of e-readers. And I would have to say that every girl on the campus has their own mobile phone, a smartphone, which they use, hopefully in very effective ways, to complement the technology that we provide for them. As we move to a BYO device environment, it's really important that we can rely on the wireless network to support all the devices that will, will be introduced. So we'll be using the Maru wireless network to, to support our vision for the future. But I'm confident that with the uh, Maru net wireless network, we can easily do that without any changes to the wireless infrastructure, network infrastructure at all, because we have trialled all of them, we have tested everything, and they all can be done. The main reason we selected Meru uh, wireless networks after our evaluation is that uh, it suited us because the architecture was very simple, it works on a sin single channel and it, 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 it was easy to manage. Everything was managed well, through the controller, not via the access points and then that also gave us a, big, a large coverage, large area was covered with that, with the access points which other vendors products were not able to do. Uh, 
with the success we had with the wireless Meru wireless network, uh, now we are looking at uh, other devices such as wireless uh, security cameras and wireless uh, phones, voice devices, uh, which we think we will uh, utilize over the next couple of years using the wire wireless network. There's always going to be benefits. I think the one thing that we've learnt uh, about technology in our school is to not put a limit on what is possible. And we invest heavily, again, in the, the research and the innovation to make sure that we're bringing into our environment the highest quality uh, technology devices and infrastructures to keep us moving uh, to support our students.